Hello, I'm Stuart Bloor. I recently had a text from a friend of mine. How would you like to come and fish my pool? He asked. And they were perching there, 12 or 4 pound. Well, of course, immediately, perch being my favourite species. As I read that, my ears pricked up. So we met up, came to the pool. It's an old commercial water, so all sorts of fish in there. And this is where it gets really interesting and exciting, of course, because he said that as far as anyone knows, there's only that one perch in here. Over four pound, the history behind the perch, I don't know. I haven't got a clue about that. But I do know that in this pond, this pool, there's one fish, one perch, over four pound. A few days later, I had another text, when are you gonna come and wrestle my perch? So I decided to get my wrestling gear together, set off, here I am, just arrived. It's a lovely day, quite windy though when the wind comes in, it's a little bit chilly, but when the wind drops off, lovely day, sunny day. I'm here for the afternoon, right up to dark, and I'm going to, hopefully, do some wrestling with that perch. I've just mixed my ground bait up, ready to throw this out on a regular basis. Uh, you can see inside the bucket there, brown crumb and some predator ground bait mix, probably to a ratio of, uh, of five to one. Remember, perch are predators, also chub in here as well. They're certainly predators. In there, I've got some casters. I will be adding live red maggots as well. And when I added the water from the pond, I also put some liquid lobworm in as well. So real confidence building as we can put that bait out and uh, you know bring the fish into the swim. I've already put a, a float out with a, a lead on the bottom, every lead a plummet to uh, test the depth. So I know what's in front of me. I'm fishing one uh, rod, which will be a ledger rod to what is in effect like the far bank, some overhanging trees, going to fish over there and then the other one I'm, I'm just going to fish in front of me. It's a tree to the right of me so I'm fishing just off that. Get the bait out, get the rods out, here we go. Into a, a fish a little bit better than the ones I have been catching so far. I've been catching small roach and rud. And this I think is a small carp. Float rod just down the side with a worm on. Yeah, it's a small carp. Only a baby as far as carp go. But if it was the perch, I'd be well pleased. In the net. I've been here a couple of hours and I've just caught a perch and it's a four as well. I'm just gonna hold it up for the camera now. There it is. <laughs> Point four of an ounce I think. Tiniest perch you've ever seen. So it just goes to show doesn't it? But that's great. I'm still after the big one. <laughs> the sun's still high in the sky. I've got a few hours yet been catching fish all day. I haven't caught Herman yet though, Herman Monster. He's still in here somewhere, but I've had lots of his uh, friends. Bream, small common carp, uh, roach, rud. Um, <laughs> what else have I had? <laughs> crucian carp, that's right, yeah, crucian carp. Beautiful fish, aren't they? Uh, I think, although perch are my favorite fish, and so I, I do like the look of perch, that's what the barbell angler would say, the carp angler, the chub angler, and so on and so forth. But I think if there are two fish in our waters that all of us as anglers would be united in saying that they are genuinely beautiful fish, I think it has to be the rud and the crucian carp. So I've had some of those. I will take some uh, photographs and you'll be able to see them in the article, of course. And the roach, some of those roach have been quite nice. I've had to play them and net them as well. So they've been, they've been good fish. So I've really enjoyed myself so far. But as they say, the night is still young or the afternoon is still young in my case. And uh, hopefully Ehrman will put in an appearance uh, during this uh, video. To uh, another fish here, a little bit bigger. Not sure what it is, it seems to uh, be fighting like a crucian car. It's bent in the net. Yep, it was a crucian. 
You can just tell, can't you, when you've got a certain fish on, the way that he fights. The guy who owns the pool, who I mentioned at the start of the video, has just been to see me. And if you want to know who it is, I'll tell you in the article. In fact, he's a, he's a well-known angler, and in recent times has been a very successful match angler as well, so all will be revealed in the written article. I've been catching fish right through the day, and I've had, a, I've had a really good time so far. The sun's starting to drop now over the horizon, and uh, who knows, Berman. <laughs> Herman um, might put in an appearance. But I've had some good roach. And the crucian carp, of course. Any size crucian is a nice fish. Oh, into something now again. What's this? Oh, this is a very... Oh, it's like an orf. <laughs> I'll show you this one in a moment. There it is. Very orange. Still catching. It's uh, pretty hectic. Except for the, uh, the big perch. I've done everything. I've got a spot where I think that's where it will be. And I've uh, put a live bait out there. A ledged worm. Spinning even. But a few goes with a, a Meps Aglia. And now I've got a, a dead bait gudgeon ledger up against some, some trees which are hanging over the water. That's what it was seen anyway, so I'm hoping he's quite territorial. He doesn't travel too much. But on my float rod down the side, brilliant. I'm, uh, I'm catching every cast, well, at least having a bite every cast. And it's been like that all day. So this is a new experience for me, catching so many fish. The sort of fishing I normally do, I, I catch one a session or two, and usually none. The invitation today came with bring your dog, so I did. And here she is, Twinkle, the Bedlington Terrier. She's been enjoying it here, just pottering around. That's what Bedlingtons love to do. Good girl! I've still got some time left, but the video itself is coming to an end. So this will be the last you see of me in this short video. Unless of course I catch Herman Munster. <laughs> Four pound eleven, I believe was the weight that he uh, that he came out at. He has been caught once anyway, so four pound eleven. But not to me so far, but nevertheless, I've really enjoyed myself today. It's been, uh, it's been wonderful. I've probably caught more fish today, albeit small ones. Probably caught more fish today than I'll, than I'll catch the rest of the season. That's the sort of fishing I do. You can read the article that accompanies this video on my website and the details will be on the screen now.